everyone welcome back to a new video so in today's video i got a little package from born pretty and i thought i would show you what i got before i start because i'm going to use one of the items in the package today uh, so there's not actually it's not a massive haul it's just like a little uh, it's a few bits that i got um i have got a discount code for them if you want to get 10 percent off your purchase i believe my code is nmm10 but i'll leave it in the description box and on the screen um, for you to have a look at so the first thing i really like these i thought these would be good for halloween and i'll tell you what i was a little bit worried they wouldn't arrive in time but they have arrived obviously so i'm going to use these to create a sort of halloweeny set today you don't have to use them to create halloween eyes we're going to use the green center eyes today you can't hear too many cars outside and um, those are water decals by the way then i've fallen in love with these i've seen them before and i'm sure i'd bought some from somewhere but if, if i've got them i don't know where i've put them but these are like metallic i don't know you know like pyrite like fool's gold it kind of reminds me of that now i don't know how these would be encapsulating um because they are metal um, if you were to put them near your client's nail bed or nail plate end of the of the nail, you'd probably want them to kept kept on the free edge is what I'm trying to say. Because if you encapsulate them and you file off the nails for any reason, um, they probably will create some heat. So that would be my only worry with these. But I have done a set with these um, and I sprinkled them on the top. So you may be able to get them off with nippers as opposed to filing them off you don't want them to like shoot all over the place and end up pinging in your eye as well you just have to be careful but look at these these this reminds me of like like treasure in a little pot i just think they're gorgeous these are the ones that i used actually for the set that i've done which i will be putting up later on this week um maybe tomorrow but maybe later on this week and then because you all know i'm obsessed with crystals at the moment i bought some caviar beads or micro beads you might call these uh either way these are micro caviar beads whatever um i got some rose gold ones because i seem to be using a lot of these at the moment i think because it's that time of year and the rose gold ones just sort of go really nicely with pretty much anything and as you can see in this nail art wheel you get really tiny ones and then as you go around the wheel they increase in size and i really really like these bigger sizes they oh i love them i can't wait to get using these and i have actually used these in a set that i done yesterday as well so you'll be seeing me use all these bits in um videos coming up very soon these ones are little metal studs they kind of like got like a satin finish but there's sort of satin silver ones and satin gold colored ones and i've wanted some of these for a long time um so i can't get wait to try these out as well so they are gold and silver um some of them are turned the wrong way around so they look like they almost look like bottle caps <laughs> but they're not and then um these ones here i've got lots of different colors in so i've got gold rose gold silver and light black i did actually spend a good amount of time sorting the beads out into the right little uh, sections <laughs> sad but true um so yeah so these are all the bits that i got from born pretty i'll leave the discount code in the description box below and the website um onto the nails though so i've got my flexi hand ready um I, i've got a 10 percent code off for that as well all my discount codes will always be in the description box so if i've got any discount codes for any websites i'll leave them down below for you um i'm using my bling line gel today this is from the little nail shop again i've got a discount code nat mug 10 um i did end up for this set i ended up mixing some colors to try and create a color that would go nicely with the green eyes i kind of failed um I mixed Tanya with I think this was Iris and then I added I, I ended up cutting a lot of it out because it was just I don't know I, I did end up putting a little bit of Christina in there she's a yellow um, but the mix that I made I thought I'm not gonna waste it <laughs> so I've put it I'm gonna put it I'm applying a thin coat to the ring finger and then I'm going to do the same on the middle finger. Now you will, no, you won't see me do it because I cut it out. But in a minute, you will see that I have done the same thing to the index finger and the pinky. Ignore that because we're actually, I decided to do something completely different with those. And I'm glad I did because I didn't like 
initially how they turn out. So we're going to cure that for 60 seconds. Um, and then I'm going to apply my stickers. I've, the, the decals, sorry, they're decals, not stickers. I've got some water in a little espresso cup. <laughs> <laughs> that's my I keep that for if I need to do if I need to fill it up with water decals that is my go-to cup um, I'm just cutting around the decals as best as I can there is actually some white um, underneath the eye and above the eye where like the eyelid is I was trying to get the film off here honestly I was doing it for about five minutes but I think the film had pinged off somewhere and um, sometimes you'll get a little film across the top Places in the water, they only need to go in the water for literally about 20 seconds, if that, sometimes. Um, I end up leaving them in there for a little bit longer because I end up doing other bits, but you'll see that the back in just gently slides off the actual decal part. Um, that one I'm going to leave in there just until I finish this. Dab it onto your paper towel just to get off any droplets of water. And then I'm going to place them here, and then the other one's going to go on the ring finger, like so this you know so you've got a a matching pair of eyes so you know what i mean what am i trying to say i'm making this a lot more difficult than i have to speaking wise um i just make no sense sometimes <laughs> oh there we go so our nails now have a set of eyes and um, because the nails were kind of they, they're quite arched I think that might be the right word i don't know because of the c curve in the nail um the the end bits of the water decals did want to pop up pop pop up a little bit and um, so i found the easiest thing to do was i didn't want to apply glue or anything so i thought right i'll add a little bit more of the gel and i went slightly over the edge of the water decal because i kind of wanted to hide that white as well because i don't want it to look like they're they're like stickers just bunged on the nail so i'm gonna kind of yeah i'm gonna apply a little bit more gel on the edges of the decals and then i'm gonna take my little um curable uv torch and i'm holding the sticker down and curing that gel so that that keeps the sticker the decal uh, if i say d if i mean if i say sticker i mean decal so i'm sorry <laughs> i'm gonna do the same to this one Okay, and then when they're sort of stuck in place, I'm just gonna give them a quick full cure. A quick full cure, it's either quick or it's full love. <laughs> 60 second cure, that's what I'm trying to say. Then we're gonna need Ophelia. She is amazing. She's probably my most favorite purple that I've got. Actually, no, because I, I don't know, I love, just love loads of purples, but this purple is incredible. I'm gonna apply two coats of this. You wait until we get that second coat on it oh gosh in the light like when it's when it hits the light you just get oh it's just beautiful you'll see you'll see it's got like a metallic kind of i don't know what their word is but it looks a bit metallic-y i'm just gonna put a, a tiny tiny little bit more on oh there's a bloody hair there's always i forgot about the hair there's always a hair it's the flexi hand she likes to attract fibers and stuff so i'm just going on with a little bit more but i'm still it's still a thin coat okay pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds and then we're going to apply our second coat again it doesn't have to be a thick coat the thinner the better i mean even if you decide you want to put three coats on that's fine just keep them thin if you make them too thick sometimes like i had i haven't actually had this happen with the bling line gel yet but with some gel polishes um if you put them on too thick um the light can't penetrate all the way through the gel and the top layer will set and then underneath will not be set um and it will you'll you'll end up with the nail wrinkling which is not good you don't want that because that will cause all sorts of problems um so yeah right we've cured that we're now using emerald city this is a beautiful glitter from nail sugar um again i've got 10 percent off code nat mug 10 um look i love this one so much it's not holographic it's just metallic but it's got fine glitters in and it's got fine glitters it's got fine hexagons in it like really tiny hexagons and medium ones but not chunky ones uh, i like them i like mixes like this since i've been doing gel um, even for gel polish they're nicer because the, the bigger chunks are harder to encapsulate in in especially if you're using gel polish i find not so much gel because you know you can encap you know anyway 
I have put a thin layer of the Cool One Step Gel and Clear on and then at the bottom, underneath the eye, I'm going to apply glitter. So we're just going to fill this entire area up with glitter and I'm going to make sure I butt it right up to the eyeball pretty much because I want to hide the white of that sticker. You can see on the other sticker there that I've not done, like under the eyelashes, you've still got white from that sticker and I kind of want to hide that. I want to make it look like I've almost drawn it on even though I haven't, obviously. But that's what we kind of want to go for. Once I'm happy, I'm going to stick that in the lamp to cure. I love this glitter so much. I think it looks really nice already. I wasn't too impressed initially. I'm just wiping off my brush because I'm going to place it in the cool one-step gel and I don't want to get clear in it, uh, glitter in it. So I've, re I've repeated the same step on the middle finger. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to cure that again. Then we're going to encapsulate the nails in the cool one-step gel. And what I like to do is place... <coughs> I knew I was gonna sneeze and I'm not one of these people that can sneeze quietly I have to like I'm like ah, but because I'm filming I tried to not do that anyway I like to apply a thin coat of, of the one step gel and then I take a bigger bead and with the bigger bead I then uh, create my structure on the nail so I pillow it back to the cuticle area and then I work it from left to right and then if I need if I feel like I need any more gel then I will go ahead and apply a bit more but then what I do is I turn the nail upside down which you're not going to see here um, because it needs a little bit more just at the uh, where the apex meets the free edge I can't I'm terrible at explaining things um, it needs it just need yeah anyway you know I've done it I've done it I encapsulated them all and as if by magic <laughs> wipe off the tacky layer I don't feel like I'm making much sense today but I kind of hope you get the gist of what I'm on about I feel like most of you do I feel like you kind of know me now you know I can't my brain doesn't coordinate with my mouth <laughs> file the nails the the gel doesn't take much filing at all uh, it's brilliant and when you do need to file it's like filing butter so literally don't go too mad since I've been using gel I haven't used my e-file once which is brilliant um, right, crystals, bling bling. Um, I'm using the Trick or Treat uh, crystal mix from Crystal Parade. There are so many gorgeous shapes in here. You get big shapes, pointy back shapes, flat back shapes. You get like, oh, you just get some, oh look, and you get some, some stars and some moons, which I was gonna use in this set, but I've decided to keep them for another set, just in case. So these are the stars and the moons. I'm going to save them. I'm not going to... I was going to use them, but I've decided not to. You also get some orange and green micro beads or caviar beads with this um, Halloween mix, which is quite nice. I've never used coloured caviar beads until today. And I was like, after I used them, I was like, right, I need caviar beads in every single colour of the rainbow. <laughs> so I have actually bought some, but I've got some coming from AliExpress. I know I'll be waiting forever for them actually I probably won't be because sometimes Aliexpress is pretty quick anyway if you don't want to wait um, the Crystal Parade do do lots of cover colored caviar beads at really reasonable prices especially if you buy them in the trays um, they're like it works out like a pound of color which is brilliant um, in fact I probably should have got them from there really <laughs> I'll probably end up buying from there because I'm too impatient to wait for the ones that I've bought. Anyway, um, I've placed some Crystal Totalist gem glue above the eye. So we pretend we pretend the Crystal Totalist uh, pretend the Crystal Totalist gem glue is eyeshadow. <laughs> Onto the bottom of the eyeshadow nearest the eye, we're gonna place the um, I was gonna say green, the orange stones. We're gonna follow the shape of the eye. Now, as I get to the edge here, I'm going to use some a couple of smaller orange stones, crystals. They're not stones, Nats. They're crystals. Um, yeah, so just here. We're going to use the slightly smaller ones. And we're going to go all the way from one end of the nail to the other. And then what I decided to do was fill the top part in with it took me a long time to get the orange lid off because there was a sometimes if you do the lids up 
and you got a little micro bead stuck in the thread it honestly it was a right little pickle to get off but i got the lid off in the end um so this area at the top here i'm literally just going to fill in with a mixture of the green and the orange caviar beads you could pour them on i didn't want to do that because i wanted to put both on and i didn't want to make a mess so this probably took me longer than it it could have it should have done um but anyway it doesn't matter i kind of liked also it gave it a bit of a um almost a bit of like a scaly look um so like you could imagine you could pretend that we're pretend that this this nail or this set is like a we'll call it like a lizard lady i don't know maybe not a lizard lady or an alien lady no i don't like aliens they scare me like literally i'm petrified of aliens um if i'm okay if they look like humans or i tell you what it's the little green men aliens that scare me honestly they scare the living boobs out of me they do i just don't know what it is they're freaky as heck if i was to see one in real life i'd probably just pass out and then I'd, yeah, oh, it's just not good. I, I'd literally either pass out or I'd be gone. You'd never see me run so fast. <laughs> and I don't run anymore. <laughs> so yeah, just filling in this. I'll get back to you in a second because I'm just talking crap now. Okay, and then when I'm happy, I'm going to pop that into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. Um, I'm going to repeat, oh my gosh, I'm going to repeat everything I've done on this nail. So when that's finished, we've got two identical looking nails. Well, they're not identical, they're symmetrical. <laughs> and then we're going to top coat the nails. And this is where you really see how good, look at this gorgeous purple. <gasps> oh, it's so good. The eye nails, I'm just going to butt the brush up to the crystals, but not over them. If you... If you get top coat over the crystals, you've basically ruined the crystals. Um, they will lose their sparkle. And oh, that would just be a crime. Just don't do it. <laughs> so go up to but not over. Just do be careful. And look, this nail, look, this, this purple. Oh my god, I cannot tell you how much I'm in love with this colour. Ophelia is called, remember, from the little nail shop. Bling line Ophelia. She is an absolute look. <gasps> oh, yes, please. Mm. Okay, and that basically is the set done. I'll give you a quick close up. I hope you like this set. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget, you can get 10% off at Born Pretty, um, the little nail shop, and nail sugar. Um, all the codes will be in the description box below or they will have been on the screen at some point during this video um, Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. This is like my first Halloween -y kind of set I'm gonna try and do a few more um, But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you beautiful lot tomorrow with a brand new video. Bye. I love you <laughs>